In news around the bluffs, cyclists gather on the 100 block of West Broadway for the second annual All Lit Up bike ride. Using glow sticks, LEDs, and glow-in-the-dark paint, they gear up for a 10.9-mile bike ride through Northwest Council Bluffs. We wanted to do a ride that was a little bit different, so we decided a nighttime one was different than most that are out there. And of course, the kind of the glow in the dark just kind of came along with the night ride. Roughly 140 cyclists participate in the night ride. Prizes for the most decorated bike and cyclists are given as well. College Road is repaved near Primrose Retirement Community. The street closed to through traffic June 22nd and 23rd. Public Works says holes in the road keep opening up every time it rains, so this is a more permanent solution. And also, Main Street between Canesville and West Broadway is closed as of June 22nd. This is due to construction of the new TS Bank going in across the street from the parking garage. The Missouri River Relief Crew updates us on the success of the cleanup on June 13th. More than 150 volunteers helped collect 5.5 tons of trash from the banks of the Missouri River. 88 tires, scrap metal, motor oil, pesticides, and batteries were recovered. The groups worked downstream of the Omaha area in Bellevue and Council Bluffs. Missouri River Relief teamed up with Fontenelle Forest and back to the river to make the cleanup possible. The Harvester Art Space Lofts in downtown hosts an open house June 20th. The artists living in the apartments open their homes so the public can view art, listen to some music, and even grab a snack. One resident says this is an opportunity that keeps her dreams on track. This atmosphere, I mean, only um, encourages creativity. And I think, especially with my business, I mean, that's something you need every day. The Harvester Lofts houses artists from photographers and painters to jewelers and musicians. We'll have more on a new exhibit featured through August in our in-studio interview.